Accused killer Mark Twitchell took the witness stand Wednesday at his first-degree murder trial and admitted he killed and dismembered Johnny Altinger. However, the aspiring Edmonton filmmaker then told the jury a tearful story that seemed to point towards a claim of self-defense. Twitchell admitted luring Altinger to a Millwoods garage he was using as a film location by pretending to be a woman from an internet dating site. Once there, Twitchell testified he told the 38-year-old city man the date was a hoax and part of a multimedia format psychological thriller he was producing. He told jurors Altinger then became angry and they exchanged hurtful words and said Altinger then kicked him in the back and they began fighting. Twitchell said Altinger grabbed a pipe lying in the garage and took a couple of swings at him, which he said he dodged before grabbing the pipe away. He said he then hit Altinger in the head several times and they got into an intense altercation. Twitchell testified he struck Altinger multiple times on the head with the pipe before the other man angrily grabbed the pipe back. At that point, he said he grabbed a hunting knife that was in a sheath attached to his belt. And when Altinger came at him swinging the pipe, he said he believes he stabbed him. He then began crying as he recounted realizing how stupid he had been. He said he then blocked out all his emotions and lifted Altinger's body and put it on a large metal table in the garage. He said he then dismembered the body. Twitchell agreed he lied to police about what had happened. He also spoke about a document he authored called SK Confessions. Twitchell testified some of it was true and some of it was fiction. He ended his testimony by talking about revealing to police where the remains had been dumped and said he did it to give Altinger's family and friends some closure. Twitchell will be back in the stand Thursday for cross-examination. For the Edmonton Sun, I'm Tony Blake.